know what it is guys but i have been sleeping so well the last couple nights i wake up and i check my little ring score on my app and it says like 96 percent today i think was like 85 but i wake up and i feel so good we're pretty much nailing life. Definitely enjoying my big bag while I have it and the nice memory foam because once I get back on board, it is not gonna be that way. I don't really have too much on the agenda today, just a lot of work to get done before I leave, but I really wanna sit down and answer some of your frequently asked questions about this upcoming contract. I have just thrown some workout clothes on. I wanna get some morning movement in before we start our day because it is gonna be a very work heavy day. I've got a lot of editing to do, proof watching, emails, Instagram stuff, like there's a whole list. I've already written on my to-do list and it's a little bit intimidating, but we are gonna tackle it and it's gonna be a great day. So I'm gonna go grab my sneakers and we are gonna get moving. nailed it. I have the Tim Hortons cold brew concentrate. I've never been a huge fan of cold brew concentrate just because I haven't been able to nail the ratio, but I finally got it down pat. So you add like the same amount of cold brew concentrate and water. And then I topped it off with almond milk and a little bit of oat milk creamer. And it is absolutely delicious. I had such a good workout. I'm feeling super inspired for the day. We've got the coffee and we are ready to answer some questions. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me because that's where I always have people submit questions for Q and A's. And I also show a lot of like behind the scenes and a lot more daily updates than YouTube. So if you've got Instagram and you're not following me, it's listed below. But it's... I got a lot of questions. We can't possibly get through all of them, but I want to try and cover as much as we can. So. If you missed my announcement video, I am headed to the Utopia of the Seas and I'm going to be part of Cast One, which is the takeout cast and startup crew on board, which is super exciting. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm going to be documenting the whole experience with you. Might not be able to show everything straight away, but down the line, once we actually start selling with guests, I will reveal as much of the information as I can. First question about this contract is how long is the contract? What is the duration? So this contract is gonna be seven months. It's actually like three or four days over seven months exactly. So to me, it's a perfect length for a contract. Anything less than that just feels way too short and anything more than that is still okay, but that's when it starts to get a little bit more tiring. Not necessarily the job, but just living on board, you start to feel like you are ready for the end of the contract. I've had contracts all different lengths. I've had a four month contract, that was my shortest. It was on Wonder. My longest contract was on The Adventure of the Seas. I did 10 months. I also did nine and a half months on Voyager. My last contract on Explore was seven or just seven and a half, somewhere around there. So to me, seven months is perfect. We are gonna have a very demanding schedule. So I think that by the end of the contract, we're gonna be tired and ready to have a little break. Next question, where are you rehearsing? Is the ship ready? So the ship is pretty much ready. They're still doing the last minute touches and they're starting the sea trials currently, like think as we speak or as I'm filming this, that's when they're in the process of doing all of that. But I'm actually rehearsing not on the ship. I'm gonna be flying to California first. That is where like the headquarters or like 
the main home spot is for the company I work for. So we're gonna be doing just under a month of rehearsals on land in California. And from there, I'm gonna be flying to join the ship. The ship has been built in France. So we are gonna be flying from California all the way to France to sign on the ship. I'm not entirely sure how long we're gonna be in France for before we do the crossing back over to the US, but I'm presuming it's gonna be like three, four weeks maybe, and then we'll do the crossing, obviously without guests, to prepare for our inaugural cruise. Inaugural. Next question, how long before the first sailing will you be on board? I'm joining the ship on June 7th, and our first cruise is going to be July 19th. So I will be on board just over a month before we actually start sailing with guests. Like I said, I have rehearsals first, and then I'll be joining the ship. And once we join the ship in June, we will still continue rehearsing, doing tech runs, dress runs, everything that goes into an install, plus all the new things that I'm gonna be experiencing because it is a brand new ship. Next question, how are you gonna go about posting on YouTube considering you're gonna have lots of rehearsal time and not going to be able to show the ship on video? I am going to be super busy when I'm in rehearsals and I do still wanna keep up with posting regularly on YouTube for you. So I have pre-filmed a lot of stuff and I'm hoping that my uploads are about three to four weeks later than when I actually filmed them. So that'll give me a little bit more time to settle in and try to get all of my content sorted and edited by the time you can actually see it. It's a learning curve because I haven't experienced this before, so we will see what happens, but I'm gonna try my best to stick to a consistent upload schedule. But please bear with me because we're just going with the flow. We'll figure it out as we go along. As far as the ship is concerned, I haven't heard any information about me not being able to show the ship only because this Oasis class already exists. So there are a few changes obviously to Utopia, but for the most part, the ship is exactly the same as Wonder, which I was on, Allure, which I was on, and all the other Oasis class ships. I know with Icon class, it was super confidential because it was unveiling a brand new class of a ship. So everything was different, but I think for now, the only thing I really can't show is going to be the rehearsal process. Next question, will you have a dressing room for the cast on this ship? The best part about Oasis class ships is that there is a dressing room. I love the dressing room. I spend so much time in there. I leave all my makeup in there, all my hair products. I've got my little setup at the mirror, which is so nice. So I absolutely love having that space. It makes a huge difference, especially because the cabins are so small. Having to share a mirror with your roommate when you're getting ready for a show is not ideal. And it's just good fun. Like it's so nice to have good lighting. You have your makeup and your costumes all in one spot. I personally love having a dressing room. It's phenomenal. So I'm really looking forward to having that again and having my little setup. Do you receive allowance for skates, makeup, tights, etc. on the ship? You do not. <laughs> you don't get any sort of allowance. We are given two pairs of fishnets per contract, which is great. If you don't know, fishnets are really expensive for no reason. So it does help to be given two pairs every contract. I usually bring a current pair that has hooks on it for like tech runs and stuff that already are kind of nicked up. And then I have a spare pair I also bring. So in total, I usually have four per contract. I don't always use all four pairs, but it's nice to have backups makeup, hair tools, hair products, all that stuff you are required to bring yourself and you're not reimbursed anything, but I do submit it for my taxes. So there is that at least. Are you planning to recreate the cute bookshelf and TV in the new cabin? So if you saw my previous contract on the Explorer, I did give my cabin a little bit of an updo, <laughs> a little revamp, if you will. I ended up buying a bookshelf from Yisk, which is like a furniture store in Spain, I bought it, but it helped with storage because you do have very limited storage in these small cabins. I am really glad that I bought that and we also put our TV on it. So I probably won't do that again this time. We will see what the setup is when we get there. It all depends, but usually the newer ships have a different desk setup. So it's not like a desk that you can pull out and remove. It's usually attached to the wall and it folds down, which is really nice because then it doesn't take up as much space. So you can like lift it up and use it when you want, but then when you're done with it, you can just push it down and it's like flat to the wall. I think that's how it's gonna be on Utopia, but we'll see obviously. 
Moving right along, do you know anyone in your cast from previous contracts? So I actually know two people from previous contracts, which is really exciting, one of which I'm really good friends with. Um, so I'm gonna be with Gleb from my Wonder contract. He's actually the person that I did the pairs understudy with which was so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to seeing and working with him again. Um, haven't seen him in about a year. And then I'm also working with Elizaveta, who was one of the pair girls on my contract when I was on Voyager. So I'm very excited to see her again as well. It's been a really long time since I saw her. She got a new partner now, so I don't know her partner, but I am really excited to see her. She's super sweet as well. We have a lot more questions to get to, but I am absolutely starving. My dad is making breakfast this morning for us. So let's head downstairs, eat a little bit of food, and then we can regroup and get to some more questions. Hi, Coco Hello, baby. Hello. Breakfast was so good. I'm so full. I honestly might not need to eat lunch today because we had like a little bit of a late breakfast. Eggs Benedict is like top tier. And then my dad did steak, which brought it to the next level. So, 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 so good. And I'm so full. I probably won't even need to eat lunch. I'm gonna have to force myself to eat something. But I've gotten ready. I used my new hair tool. I just got one of those heated round brushes and I'm still learning how to use it, but I feel like for the first time my hair turned out really nice. So all that being said, let's answer some more questions because we've got a lot more to get to and it's just fun. Jumping right back into it. Someone asked, ice capped in this contract? And to that I say, no. <laughs> To be honest, that role is never something that I've really wanted to have, especially because YouTube is so time consuming and it's an entirely separate job to skating. It's literally a second full-time job. I would rather allocate my time towards YouTube and editing and all of the stuff that goes along with it rather than taking a position that's gonna take up a lot of my time. If I was presented with the opportunity, I would definitely consider it and probably would take it, but it hasn't been something I've shown interest in. And especially with this upcoming contract being a brand new ship, being ice captain for the first time on a brand new ship, on an Oasis class ship for that matter, is just a lot. So I did not ask for it and I will not be the ice captain, which I am, I'm happy with. <laughs> Someone asked, do you feel extra pressure being cast one or feeling more confident because you get to make it yours? I think there's a little bit of pressure that comes with being cast one, but I am instead using that pressure for excitement. I'm really not nervous about this experience because I am confident in my skating and I do believe that I really earned this spot. So I'm just gonna go into it as I always do every other contract, being super grateful for the opportunity and skating the best that I'm able to. Obviously it can go either way, but I'm choosing to use it as an advantage for me and it's just getting me even more excited. Next question, will Utopia have one show or two? So because Utopia is an Oasis class, you might think, okay, there may be two shows, but because it is short cruises, we're only gonna be doing one show, which is partially why the install process isn't gonna be quite as long as what you might suspect it to be. It is a lot more time consuming to build two shows, so we're only building one. Why do you buy white skates and paint them instead of buying them in tan? I have answered this question a billion times, but I'm sure it's slipped through the cracks. So once again, the reason why I buy white skates is simply because my foot is too small for tan skates. I wear Adeas and Adeas do have a showgirl boot, which is a tan boot, but they start in a size 230 and I wear a 220. That being said, I just have to paint them. I could switch to a different brand of skates, but I don't want to do that because I love my Adeas. So I just have continued wearing the same boots as when I was competing and I just choose to paint them, which really isn't that much of a deal to me. There's a lot of skaters that wear Adeas on ships and they do the same as me. Another question about the skates, is it mandatory for the skates to be a nude color or is it just something you choose? It is a requirement. I know Disney on ice skaters don't have to paint their skates because they were wear mostly boot covers, but performing on ships, we wear fishnets, which means your skates are exposed and you can see through the fishnets. So you do have to have tan skates. How long is the install process since it is a new show? So the install process in total is going to be, let's look at my calendar. In total, it's gonna be 10 weeks. Four of those weeks are gonna be in California and then the rest is gonna be on board. 
The thing you'll miss the most while being away again. Hands down, my parents, my family in general, and Coco. It's always so hard to leave them behind. And it's the hardest to leave Coco behind because she doesn't know where I'm going. Like, she just knows that I'm leaving. She doesn't know when I'm going to be back and she doesn't know where I am. So she's just put under a lot of stress whenever I'm pulling the suitcases out and it breaks my heart. What are you most excited for? There are so many different things I'm excited for, but I want to say the number one thing I'm most excited for is opening the show. Opening night is always such an exciting time, whatever ship you're on, but to open a brand new show is entirely different and it's something that I've never experienced. So I think that's going to be just an unforgettable memory. Um, and we have a lot of work before we get there, but that's probably the number one thing I'm most excited for. If you could pick any song for your solo in any genre, what would it be? Well, I typically always skate to upbeat, fast, music just because that is my style of skating and I love it but I also really love powerful songs that might be a little bit slower so there's quite a few Billie Eilish songs I would love to skate to like what was I made for that is like my favorite song right now so if I could skate to that incredible it would be a different style for me for sure would be a good challenge I also love Adele Skyfall by Adele gorgeous. Also, Dua Lipa. Anything Dua Lipa. Those are probably my top choices right now, but we will see what they pick for me. It's very interesting. I'm excited to see what they come up with. What are your goals for skating this contract? I think my number one goal for this contract is to continue working on pairs and get all of the lifts super confident on the ice. Graham and I did a lot of work together last contract. We learned every single lift and it's super comfortable on the floor. We got some of them on the ice quite a few times, but we didn't get every lift on the ice. So I think that's going to be a good little project for me during this contract. Speaking of Graham, quite a few of you asked if Graham will be on this next contract with me. And unfortunately, he will not be. He's going to be on the Independence of the Seas. So if any of you are cruising on that ship, you're going to see him there. I really hope we can do another contract together in the future. That would be a dream come true because we just had such a good time together. And he's such an incredible person, great friend, and an awesome skater as well. So I miss him a lot. What is the rink layout? So because Utopia is an Oasis class ship, it is going to be the same as all the other Oasis class ships, Freedom class, as well as Voyager class ships. So we are going to have Studio B and Studio B is 40 by 60 ice surface. It's a rectangle. The only ship that has a different ice surface right now and venue altogether is the Icon of the Seas, which is called Absolute Zero. I think that's what it's called. And it's a circular ice surface. What duties will you have on the ship besides skating? So it's gonna be pretty similar to every other contract. I am going to have to work all skates, so the public skating for guests. I have to participate in weekly safety drills as a crew member. We also have Muster 2.0, which is the safety drills for the guests on board on embarkation day. On the bigger ships, like an Oasis class, we do work box office, so we basically help guests reserve different shows and things they want to see throughout their cruise. That's on turnaround day as well. On most ships, you do have to help out with dressing backstage the production cast or helping with the spotlights. On Wonder, we did not have to do that just because there were so many shows and our shows were on the same night. So it was hard to be two places at once. Not hard, impossible. Like you can't be two places at once. So I'm interested to see if we're going to help with any of that stuff on Utopia or if it's going to be the same as Wonder where we have shows on the same night. So some of their cast is helping us with our changes, but we don't help with dressing or spotlighting. And then of course there is going to be a parade on board. Well, I would assume so. So I am also going to participate in the parade. So we've got quite a few duties on board. Do you know anyone on board with you? So as I mentioned, I worked with two people in my new cast in previous contracts. There are like three or four other people that's going to be in my cast that I know of. I've never worked with them personally, but I know them. And then I have a couple friends that are in the production cast from different contracts. So I'm excited to see them again as well. I have a really, really good feeling about this contract. Will there be any new ports for you? So 
The itinerary for my contract is three and four day cruises around the Caribbean, but more specifically, we are only porting in Coco Cay and Nassau, Bahamas. So those are gonna be our two ports of the entire contract. No new ports for me, I've been to both of them many, many times. Fingers crossed I'll have time to actually get off and go to the beach or get a coffee or something to eat because I know we're gonna be very busy. As fun as it will be, it's gonna be a lot of work, so I'm sure we'll have some time to get off here and there, but no new ports for me. How are you feeling about the short itinerary and party vibe ship? I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, I'm mostly excited. I do know that three and four day cruises are very hard for the crew on board because you have turnaround day so often and the ship is so big. We're gonna have so many people getting off the ship and then joining the ship on the same day. So that's going to be a lot. But at the same time, I'm really excited because it should mean that we're performing the show a lot and I want to make sure that I'm able to perform the show as much as possible. When we actually start cruising with guests, we will have around four and a half months of performing the show. So the more shows, the better for me. As long as my body holds up, I prefer to do more shows. And with it being shorter cruises, I think that the demographic we're gonna get is gonna be really fun. Everyone's gonna be excited to be there and just there for a good time. Are you excited for the much better crew mess? I can't say I'm like overly excited about the mess, but I am interested to see how it is. Usually the bigger ships have a better mess for the crew, so quality is usually better. And with it being a brand new ship, I think it is going to be like top quality. There's gonna be more selections and Another great thing about the Oasis class ships is that the mess is open 24 seven. So you can get something to eat at any point in the day. It's not like the smaller ships where there are specific times for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in between those times, you're kind of on your own. Do you get to go to any new countries? So I have been to France before, but I've only been to Paris. So when I fly to France to join the ship, I will be able to go to France again. It isn't a new country for me, but I really haven't discovered or experienced much of France in general. So I am looking forward to that. So it's kind of a new country for me, but, but I've already visited before. If a follower meets you, is it okay to say hello? Absolutely, please come up to me. If you see me on board, come up to me and say hi, introduce yourself. I love meeting all of you. It is so cool to meet you face to face after you've watched my videos for so long. Like it means the world to me and I'm always so grateful to meet all of you. Is there something that doesn't excite you about next contract? I will say I'm a little bit disappointed in the ports. Um, I personally love Coco Cay, but Nassau is one of my least favorite Caribbean ports to visit. I wish it was instead like Cozumel or one of the ABC islands, like that I'm not entirely thrilled about, but again, it is what it is. It's more for the experience of being part of a brand new ship, a brand new show, and it's still gonna be a really good time. Plus, I will be able to save so much money. Like, this is my saving contract for sure. Will your solo be the same in every contract you said they make, might make it around your signature move? This is gonna be a brand new solo for me. I probably will still have similar elements to previous solos that I have done, but the solo itself is going to be brand new and I'm excited for the whole creation process of that. This is going to be my final question of the video. And this question is my number one most frequently asked question regarding my contract on Utopia. I can't even tell you how many people asked me this. So the burning question that everyone wants to know, will Callum be joining me on Utopia? And the answer is yes, he will be joining me there. I am so excited that he's gonna be experiencing this with me as well. This was a decision he did sort of recently make. We've had the offer for a while, but he had to figure out a couple things and he did come to decide that he is going to be joining me on this contract. His contract is not quite as long as mine, but he will be there when I'm there and I'm really excited to experience this for the first time together. Because he is going to be on the contract with me, we're once again gonna be living together in a room. And the good thing about being on an Oasis class ship is they do have what's called a couple's cabin. So we're gonna apply for one of those couple's cabins and hopefully we will 
be living in that for the entire contract or until he signs off and then I'll have to move rooms. But basically a couple's cabin is just the same size room but with a bigger bed so you don't have bunk beds. It's gonna be I think a double bed. So it will be a lot more comfortable for us to live in that space. But in any case, I'm just so excited that he's gonna be there with me and I can't wait to see him again. He's actually gonna be going to the Icon and doing a few weeks of work on the Icon and he will then be transferred to join the ship with me in June. So very, very exciting stuff. I hope you guys got all the answers you hoped for. I don't think I got to every single question, so I apologize for that. But any other questions you guys have for me, I can definitely include in an upcoming video. I'm so excited for this process. I keep saying it, but I really am just looking forward to everything that goes into this new contract. And I appreciate you all being just as excited as me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, my dreams, my skating, watching my videos every single week. It means the world to me. So I just want you guys to know how appreciative I am of you. And I would 100% not be where I am today without you guys. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you all to the moon and back. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already because we've got a lot of exciting videos coming soon. Can't wait to share it all with you. And follow me on my socials if you are not because I will be posting like daily updates there. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>